Hey guys, it's Andrew Esquivel here back with another review and today I'm going to be reviewing the MSA Half Face Respirator Model 00817663. Now I got this model at Home Depot for about 40 some odd dollars, a little more than $40. It comes with two filters and I'm going to show you uh, why I have this off in a second. Uh, when you get it, it's going to come in this box right here with a few details. And according to this, uh, the filters at least are rated for cleaning brick with muriatic acid, working with ammonia, working near lead or asbestos, applying pesticides, and spray painting and painting. So uh, that, that's good and all, but I ended up using it for uh, getting rid of mold with bleach. And I gotta say, it did a pretty good job actually. If you were to go in the room and be subjected to the amount of bleach fumes that I was just subjected to, uh, you couldn't breathe. But with this thing, I was able to do just that quite well. Um, the filters themselves, I believe this is the model number, GME-P100. Uh, that's what it says in the filter, so I'm assuming that's what model filter this is, because you can get different types of cartridges for this mask. So, uh, as I was saying before, there's a reason why I have this off. I'm going to show you something. Uh, the filters are really easy to attach on, attach off. They're not screw on, screw off. They're uh, you kind of you fit the uh, pegs in the right holes, and uh, they're keyed. So you see this. Uh, there's a smaller one right here, and two bigger ones, and it's the same on here. So if I were to line them up like so and turn, they would be in. Um, this right here, I believe, is a voice diaphragm. I'm pretty sure it is because I was able to talk. Uh, I also believe it is also the exhaust valve. Or, you know what? It might just be the exhaust valve because normally a voice diaphragm and exhaust valve are two different things. So, at the very least, it's uh, an exhaust valve. But I was able to hear myself talking pretty well through it regardless. So... Uh, that's that's the mask itself, and uh, putting it on is uh, easy, as you might assume. It, when you do put it on, it's got stra uh, tie-down straps. Not really tying down, but you pull it, and it gets tight, and it stays tight. These are the uh, clips that it uses to hold itself together. So I'm going to put it on. First, the neck strap, and then you got the head strap. And you'll have to excuse my hair because I was just using this thing not more than 10 minutes ago. So this is what it sounds like and it has that kind of weird reverbing sound that you get when you use a voice diaphragm on a regular gas mask. Which I guess is why I was a little confused. So I'm going to spin around and show you the back of my head. That's what it looks like on the back. Uh, the tie down straps, once again, you just pull and it gets tight and it stays tight. If you want to release it, you, I believe, uh, I think you do, you have to do something with this right here. I don't really care about making it any looser because it's at the right uh, tightness for me. As for comfortability, it is pretty comfortable. As you can tell, if you've got glasses, then it'll work great for you because a full face mask you can't normally wear glasses with. So if you do want that kind of full face kind of uh, protection in case like let's say you're doing what I'm doing and you got bleach up on the ceiling getting rid of mold, you don't want it to get in your eyes. So you get something like this, you put it over and you get eye protection. Now obviously up here it's not filtered like it would be in a, a full face mask. But uh, the half face mask gives you flexibility to do things with your glasses that a regular gas mask would just not be able to do. So I'm going to take this off. And in case you're wondering why these are shinier than this, because this right here is elastic cloth. This right here is just plastic. This will not uh, stretch. So it keeps a nice conformed fit to your face. So yeah, as I was saying about those tie-down straps, 
It looks like all you got to do is just pull this back and it releases the little clippy teeth and then you just pull it out and adjust whatever you want. Uh, the overall build quality of it is uh, sufficient for my needs. It's not like I'm doing anything super hardcore. And like I said, it does work with bleach fumes, so I, at least as far as I can tell. Uh, I didn't seem to have any issue breathing where normally I would have a huge issue breathing. Um, as far as uh, all this goes, um, it does come with some proper documentation. And the documentation goes over how to put on the mask, the features of the mask, yada yada, the filters. Uh, different types of filters gives you a list on the back. Um, it just wants you to make sure you know that it's a limited protection. It's obviously not for anything super hardcore, which is okay. Um, one thing I should note is before you ever use this in a real situation with any type of fumes, when you put the filters on, what you want to do is you want to check for a, a tight seal, make sure everything is uh, airtight. And how you do that is you hold your hands over the filters and you breathe in. If you can't breathe anything, if it just suction cups onto your face, then you know the filters are on right. I did this test when I first put the filters on and this right filter wasn't on correctly. I'm glad I did that, otherwise I would have been in some trouble. Um, let me show you guys the inside of the mask. I forgot to show you that. Uh, as you can see, there's the right and left intake valves and the center is the as the exhaust valve. Um, I'm not a professional in anything involving masks like this, but I just wanted to share my experience and my, uh, my little review here of this mask. Um, it's also a decent particle filter. As you can see, we've got the, uh, I believe that's the paper-like filter or fabric-like part for like dust and stuff. So if you're surrounded by dust and stuff, you're going into an old attic where there might be years and years and pile up of random things that you don't want to breathe in, uh, it's a good little mask to have. Uh, just general purpose kind of, um, if you can say that, no filter is really general purpose because each filter does something different, but you get the point. Uh, not too much else to say about the mask. It is comfortable. It works well and it doesn't seem to let any fumes in through the exhaust valve which is a common issue for many uh, lower end masks so with all that being said uh, thanks for watching guys hope you liked the little review uh, if you want you comment rate subscribe show your friends look at all my other videos i've got plenty of them and uh... see you next time